नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग यू आर वाचिंग राज्यसभा टेलीविजन आई एम स्मृति रस्तोगी विद राज्यसभा न्यूज लेट्स बिगिन द बुलेटिन विद द हेडलाइंस अप्रोर इन राज्यसभा ओवर रफेल इशू फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर अरुण जेटली सेज हाउस शुड डिस्कस ऑपोजिशन एलिगेशन ऑन रफेल डील हाउस एट जर्ट टिल मंडे ड्यू टू डिस्ट्रप्शन Deputy Chairman Harivansh informs upper house of decisions taken by the business advisory committee Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs Vijay Goyal informs house about business for the next week Amid a prore members raise issues in zero hour NCP MP Vandana Chavan raises a women's reservation issue while JDU and TMC members draw up a house's attention towards issues facing railways In the Rajya Sabha Finance Minister Arun Jaitley requested the chairman to allow a discussion on the Rafale deal and sought the suspension of question hour in order to provide time for the discussion all this came amid continuous protest by the opposition parties in the house akhilesh suman brings us this report amid the disruptions on the rafale issue finance minister arun jaitley asked the rajya sabha chairman to accept the opposition's demand for a discussion and requested him to suspend question r to take up the matter While the Congress trooped into the well of the House seeking a joint parliamentary committee probe into the deal, most BJP members sought an apology from Congress Chief Rahul Gandhi for his statements on the issue. Despite repeated requests from Deputy Chairman Harivansh, opposition parties continued with their protests in the House. मैं बार बार सदन को चलाना चाहता हूं, मैं आपसे गुजारिश कर रहा हूं, अपील कर रहा हूं कि अपनी जगह जाए सदन को चलने दे इवन एज दी अप रोड कंटिन्यूड डेप्टी चेयरमैन हरिवंश फर्स्ट एट जर्न द हाउस टिल 11:30 थर्टी ए एम एंड देन लेटर फॉर द डे अखिलेश सुमन रिपोर्ट फॉर राज्यसभा टीवी and several important papers were laid on the table of the Rajya Sabha on Friday with ministers laying papers related to their respective ministries the minister of state for parliamentary affairs also presented details of next week's work in the house mananiya up sabhapati ji as the proceedings began in the upper house important papers related to ministries were laid on the table Union Minister P P Chaudhary laid papers relating to the Ministry of Law and Justice. The paper listed against his name at serial number one in today's revised list of business. Union Minister Purushottam Rupala laid the papers related to the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare on the table of the House. कार्य सूची में मेरे वरिष्ठ साथी श्री राधा मोहन सिंह जी के नाम के आगे क्रम संख्या दो के समक्ष दर्शाए गए पत्र सदन के पटल पर रखता हूँ. Union Minister Vijay Goel then presented papers related to the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Today on the table of the house, the papers listed against my name as serial number three in today's revised list of business. Union Minister Krishna Raj presented a letter to the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. <laughs> Apart from this, the report of the Parliamentary Standing Committee was presented in the house. MP Derek O'Brien tabled the report of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Transport, Tourism and Culture. Several other papers were also laid on the table. Minister of State for Food Processing Industries Sadhvi Niranjan Jyoti made a statement. Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs Vijay Goel informed the house about the business for the next week. Meanwhile Deputy Chairman Harivansh gave information about the division of time on various issues for the next week. With input from Akhilesh Suman Bureau Report Rajya Sabha TV. दिसंबर 2018
And Deputy Chairman Harivansh also informed the House about the decisions taken by the Business Advisory Committee during its meeting on 13th of December. I have to inform members of the Business Advisory Committee in its meeting held on 13th December 2018 has allotted time for government legislative and other business as follows. Business statutory resolution seeking disapproval of the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriages Ordinance 2018, number 7 of 2018, promulgated by the President on the 19th of September 2018, admitted in the name of Dr. P. Subhi Rami Reddy, four hours. Consideration and passing of the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill 2018 to the place and ordinance to be discussed together four hours. Number third, a statutory resolution seeking disapproval of the Indian Medical Council Amendment Ordinance 2018, number 8 of 2018, promulgated by the President on the 26th of September 2018, admitted in the name of Dr. T. Subhi Rami Reddy, considering and passing of the Indian Medical Council Amendment Bill 2018 to replace an ordinance, three hours to be discussed together. Number five, a statutory resolution seeking disapproval of the Companies Amendment Ordinance 2018, number nine of 2018, promulgated by the President on the 2nd of November 2018, admitted in the name of Dr. T. Subhi Rami Reddy. Consideration and passing of the company government bill 2018 to replace an ordinance, two hours to be discussed together. Consideration and return of the appropriation bill relating to the second batch of supplementary demands for grants including railways for the year 2018-19 after it is passed by the Lok Sabha, one hour. And members raised several issues during Zero Hour on Friday. JDU and TMC members raised the issue of railway in the House, while NCP MP Vandana Chavan raised the issue of women preservation. However, the proceedings of the Zero Hour were disrupted due to members creating uproar, after which the Rajya Sabha was adjourned for the day. stations across the country with maximum traffic including Kanpur, Mathura, Chennai Central, Bhava, Bhopal, Ahmedabad, New Delhi, etc. Its aim was to access whether the available infrastructure is adequate for handling the present and at the expected traffic load or not. The finding paints a very grim picture of the Indian railways. It points to the fact that failure in investing in infrastructure And with that, it's a wrap on this edition. Thank you for watching.